Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's get our face smashed in by more easily avoided obstacles in Rift Ruin. <laughs> Alright, so Rift Ruin is the first place you'll find one of those special switch things that will allow you to go back to other areas and collect their medals from them. By the way, those are fluff waddle dees that they like to flop down from the heavens with their fluffy dandelion fluff and love love and yes. <laughs> and obviously I'm just avoiding these balls along the way. They don't really have a specific name that I know. They're just massive, massive balls of doom. <laughs> I just like to hide underneath those spots. And here's your introduction to water here, if you'd like to give this a try. Uh, I'm gonna kill off the spear of Waddle Dee here first though. <laughs> And you can also knock those boulders off before you get there by touching them, but anyway. Uh, so, to the water physics, Kirby keeps moving on the surface like he does on land, but you can push him under the water like so. So the idea is to put something above him and then push it down and in the direction that you want Kirby to go. It's not that difficult, but it is a little more tricky to control than it is on land. You'll see why a little bit later on, but <laughs> for now, let's just relax and enjoy the water as it comes before it gets into hard mode. <laughs> so there's the first metal that I can grab here, and I think I'm gonna go and or take around this route here just to see what I've got around this. Oh shoot, I'm low, very low, very low. By the way, your line recovers faster when you're on land. Um, but, but you can recover it. I, I touched you, but you you can recover it while you're in the air just by flinging Kirby into the air repeatedly. See how it recovers on the top screen there? See, watch this. I'll draw a line up, and it'll recover by the time I can draw the next line to Kirby. So yeah, very, very simple stuff and pretty much essential in the later levels. As you'll see when I get into that later. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, 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 new enemy, Pacto. Yes, it hops up, it tries to eat you with its snarly teeth. But you can just avoid it by moving away from it, yeah. <laughs> Pretty simple stuff. And uh, now we've come to what looks like a dead end, but this flashiness here with the Maxim Tomato kind of indicates there's something hidden there. If you look on the map on the top screen, yep, there's a door there. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! We're completely blind! What what should we do? Well, moving up here, it'll tell you to touch that, and look at that, we've got lights! Let there be lights! We could have snuck up there, of course, but we wouldn't have known to sneak up there unless we looked at the map or used the lights! Yep! And now... And now... This is where you gotta sorta kinda... Keep on the lookout and touch carefully. Now watch this. See the see all these bomb blocks here? Okay, get ready, get ready to hit all the bomb blocks as you go. Touch them all, touch them all, touch them all. Gotta get- oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, 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 oh I can redo this though. <laughs> Dang PC-ness. Ah, e, ah, oh. Okay, I got the hang of it to an extent. But yeah, you can redo it if you fail at it. But, uh... It's not the most convenient thing to redo, but you can redo it. <laughs> Woohoo! So yeah, the, op the objective is to get both the metal and the cannon down to the bottom. And hopefully not enemies. <laughs> no, 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 okay. <laughs> Alright, metal. You are mine. You are mine! See the static field, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get this metal or climb up to the top otherwise. Pretty creative, I gotta say. And we hop down over here, and then we use this to go into the heavens! Look at this, see the, the waddle dee's just hanging out there. Oh boy, beware the spikiness of doom! Yeah, you can start and stop them by pressing the button. <laughs> Why would they put so Oh shoot! Why would they put such a easily avoidable obstacle in such an area? I don't know. I don't know, but that seems to be... Oh, oh I didn't mean to, to dip it down at the edge there. <laughs> but that seems to be the case with all video game baddies, doesn't it? <laughs> they always seem to have some way past their obstacle. Alrighty, boop, boop, boop. I mean, now we got Flame Shotso here. Yeah, as you can tell, they're 
pretty much invincible to your stuff, so you gotta time yourself to get through them. Or, you can block your way through them by, uh, um, by putting a wall such as that to block. Yeah, you know that technique from before. And here is Rocky! Oh, no, no, no. I want you. <laughs> I want to show the stone power. Oh, shoot! Well, I lost the stone power. But anyway, I want to go into here, because this leads to one of the special switches that I was talking about. But... I needed Rocky for that. <laughs> yeah, these switches are huge, and I am poorly drawing my lines. But that is alright. When I get back over to the other route here, I'll be able to reset my way through there. Yeah, see, there's Rocky once again there. I'm just gonna hop down there, grab Rocky for realsies this time. <laughs> <laughs> and try not to lose Rocky for realsies this time. So I'm gonna block it there, go around like that, and no, 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 no. okay, that worked. <laughs> now the objective of using the stone power here is see you've got that that thump. See that thump? Well, you gotta use that thump on said stake, like that. <laughs> and as you've seen, it just removed one of those switch blocks, and that removed all the switch blocks on all other stages we've seen thus far of that color. So, yep, we are... DEAD! <laughs> but don't worry, the switch block is still there. We are good, we start right at the door that we hit last, so we're just fine. We're just fine, we're still getting used to stuff, of course. And the crash power, I'm gonna show this when I got more enemies in the room, because this thing is spectacular. Crash! It destroys everything, it hits switches. Uh, it destroys everything that's on screen and hits switches. It is a spectacular power, but it's only one use. And you don't see it all that often. And there we go, Rift Ruin is complete. Let's do a dash jump. That's a good angle, that's a very good angle! Oh, so close to my record. Yeah, if you get over a thousand, I'd say you're doing pretty well. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Rift Ruin 100%ed. And now, I'm gonna go back over to some previous levels and grab their coinages, such as Tiny Town here. As long as I'm over here, I should probably show you how much easier the battle room is here. Uh, well, I have the beam power. Sound like a good idea? All right, so here we go. Watch this. Yeah, oh, I lost it. Now I gotta do it normally. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. But yeah, if I were to have just used the beam power, I could have taken care of the... Ah, I'm stuck on the line. I could have taken care of the lower ones without any ire whatsoever and then went, went to the upper ones. Whee! And now, over here, over on this side, the wall is gone, we can get the metal. Yeah, I know I said coin before the break there, but, <laughs> or I should say before the cut there. But, uh, yeah, it is indeed a metal, not a coin. And by the way, if we were to say we're gonna quit this, we can keep the medals! Yes, that means you don't have to complete the stages once you grab a medal. You can just go grab a medal and then leave the stage if you were to like to. Isn't that awesome? I thought you would approve. And now I'm gonna go over to Ghost Grounds here for another medal. Um, the first medal is a place that I missed really, really early in here. It was because I was kind of rushy rushy and I got all excited, but it's in a really easy spot here. I'm just gonna run over to it here. Well, not run over to it, I'm more, more like dashing over to it and rolling over to it, but <laughs> you get the idea here. Basically, it is right over at the upper right corner of the first room here, and I would like to not die on this spot again. <laughs> if I can help it, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Keep going up, keep going up, and there is the coin, but you need Bobo to grab it. And there's a Bobo nearby here, hold on. There it is. <laughs> right down there. Thank you, I will take your burning power, and I will use it to my best advantage over here. Woo! There we go, there's the first medal. Now I'll see you over by the next medal. 
As long as I'm coming through here again, I want to show you that the bottom door does indeed lead to the same place as the upper door did. To Yeah, if you were to use the spark block area door to get that other metal up there, and yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Two, two doors lead to the same place. It's kind of a crazy concept if you think about it. Well, I guess maybe not if the doors are double door or they have the same hallway, but I don't know why you would have the same hallway. Anyway, this is the block area that blocked out myself from being able to get this other metal down here. So let's go and flop on down there. Beware of the bottomless pits. And we've got it. We are good to get out of here now. Ghost Crowns is now 100%ed. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more level now. <laughs> it's gonna be Contrast Cave. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so obviously there's a coin right down there, right off the bat. I said coin again, not metal, I'm sorry, but it's right down there. <laughs> And we go down and around, they really do remind me of coins with their flippiness. Yeah, the coins always have that flippy effect in uh, video games, don't they? <laughs> when I think of medals, oh no no no, don't you dare. When I think of medals, I think, yeah. when I think of medals, I think of something that is like a static image to show you your, uh, I want to get out, I want to get out, let me just, yeah, <laughs> okay that works too. I was just gonna use a line to get up there, but that works too. <laughs> anyway, I want the burning power up for something a little bit later on here. I do believe I need it to get a metal, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though, and I could be thinking of something else. But anyway, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this to get past all this. And there we go. By the way, those uh, these guys right here, they're known as thuds. They look a lot like Kaboo, but they're they're actually not. They're their own sort of thing. And um, 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 um I'm gonna carefully try and get past these guys. Run, 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 run! Go, 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 go! Wow, there's even one hidden there. Run, 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 run! <laughs> yeah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't need the burning power up after all, but it is nice, I guess, to have for certain stuff. So here is the first real deal use of water in the game. That's not just a puddle that you can play around in. You've actually got to use your lines to make progress in it besides just getting yourself out of the water. You actually got to d delve deeper into the water and maybe you're the thing that I need that I'm thinking of, maybe. Actually, I don't, I don't think so. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I will grab Rocky's power there. Just in case, because I know it'll come in handy for some stuff. So, I'm gonna respawn Rocky, grab the stone, and when you use stone in the water, you sink down to the bottom automatically. So, it's pretty dang handy in that way underwater. Um, these are squishy. They, no, the little, little names are squishy. Those squids, yep. And there's a portal between water lines there, apparently. <laughs> and I don't know why, but there's a checkpoint there, and there's a checkpoint, like, just above there on the other screen. And I, I don't know what they were thinking with that one. I mean, do you really need that many checkpoints? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, what I'd like to do here is go down into this area and grab the tomato down over here. Yeah, I know I said tomato, not tomato, just to be a little fun. I don't know. Tomato, tomato... Yeah, I want to go get that because it'll start off start the battle. Yes, it'll start the battle of doom versus fish of doom. Oh no, not the rocks! Anything but the rocks. No, no, I want to get into a safe spot. By the way, the, the fish are known as blippers. Yeah, eh, yeah. do, yeah, do. Yeah, you can also use your attack like that to get underwater quicker. Like, it, it'll automatically make you dive downwards like that, but it's kind of hard to really get a full control out of that because of the whole thingajigger of that you're moving in multiple directions while you're trying to get underwater. But anyway, defeating them makes this door appear. And wait a second, was I supposed to do that? This early on, well, maybe, because there was a coin in the other room, but, hmm, 
Mm, maybe I'm gonna have to replay this level to get that other. I mean, metal. Not going. Not going. And I was really, really supposed to get that Waddle Doo's power there, but I failed. That's all right though. I can make it through this way just fine though. Um, yeah, that, that's why they have these bigger blocks here. And I would also like to get you down here if at all possible, or me up there. That would that would work as well if I can, you know, draw myself a line up there. There we go. That that web works too. And then this is what you, this is what it's for there. Yeah, you use that, and you can get through stuff. But I would like uh, your burning power actually more more than anything for something up ahead, but, well, I guess I'm not getting that burning power right now. <laughs> Man, this just isn't isn't going all that well now, is it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and get up here to respawn our Bobo friend there. And that's probably high enough, but I'm just gonna go all the way over to this side just to play it safe and see if Bobo respawned. It did. Okay, this is what I want Bobo for. I want to get... See, in that static area? Well, that static area is a place of no return, I guess you could say, if you don't have this power. So, and you want this power to make some progress here. You want to go and use it at the gaps, basically. Like, say, here, and then, yeah. So you can get that one up by getting to said gap over there. And there's also a door there that leads to another metal, if I'm not mistaken. But you need a green switch. I should say you need to hit the green switch. Thus, I don't have the power to get the ah, get said green switch. So I can't grab that. So I'm just gonna have to go over to the end of the level and come back here later, which is perfectly fine to me. Anyway, woo! that was a decent angle. I got 80 of out of that. That's all right, I guess. Not as good as a thousand. But, not too bad. Not too bad. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go grab the other metal there that I missed. <laughs> By the way, I, I guess I'll show you here right now. When you collect the metal, it won't appear in the spot that you've seen it before ever again. Not even a silhouette will appear once again. So these are all one-time dealios. There's checkpoint number one over there. And there is checkpoint number two right here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I need the stone power to actually get this. This is... yeah, and I remember now. <laughs> That's what I need the stone power for. I need to go down and around, and then I'm able to get said... Oh wait, I need the crash power for that, which is up there. Yes, right there, that walking bomb is known as Bomber, if I didn't mention its name before. Now I gotta get down there without using this power. That could be a tricky endeavor, but that is a part of the challenge of getting this medal. Not coin. <laughs> Alright, I can probably use it about here, I think. Should be safe. I didn't use it late enough. Oh, I gotta respawn it now. Oh, I can defeat the critters on my way back up again, I guess. It's a little bit easier than... Well, then again, they're just gonna respawn when I go back down there anyway, so... <laughs> eh, it's not that helpful to kill them off that... Oh, no! I lost it! I lost it! <laughs> this one's tricky. Tricky dicky! Alright, Crash. Don't lose you. Don't, well, I mean, I shouldn't lose you. Okay, I'm gonna try and go down one side this time, rather than just going down the center, where all the enemies are. I just carefully nudge my way down through there. And then, then, keep going, keep going, there we go, that should be enough, because it's on screen now. There we go, that hits the switch, and do not go in there just yet. Now you may complete the level if you haven't completed the level already, but for now, since I already completed it, I'm done here. That level is now, well, mostly completed. I still have that green switch place blocking that door in that last room of this area that I'll have to come back to later, but 
whatever, all stages up until that level are now 100%ed as indicated by the 9 out of 9 coins slash medals. Yeah, I know I said coins there on purpose just for kicks there. So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the final stage of level 3.